I am going to be going over how to create a free trading journal in Notion. Now, I do personally use Tradezilla now, but if you can't afford $50 a month or you just don't want to pay that, right? Totally understandable. Notion is a great platform to create a free trading journal on. It is a website, but you can also download it on your phone. So if you're not home, you can still keep up with it on your phone. All right. So as you guys can see, like your girl is really using this trading journal a lot. Okay. So I'm going to teach you guys how to um, create this. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to create a Notion account. Now, when you create an account, you want to add a page, All right? So I'm going to add a page. So you're going to see a blank page. Let's say trading journal 2024, all right? And once you add that page, you're going to add, um, you're going to click table. So trading journal, it's going to say add new. You're going to add a table. All right, cool. Once you've got your table, you want to, you're going to go down here. It's going to say select um, data source. You're going to click new data, new database. So once you click new database, you'll see a table comes up. Um, you can rename this to just, you know, trades, right? All right. So in the first section name, you're going to want the date. All right. So we've got the date and it doesn't need to be really big because it's just a date. The next thing, let's see, is your pair. So that's the next thing you want to change this to pair. You're going to click edit property. You're going to go to type and you're going to make sure it's um, multi-select. Once you click multi-select, you're going to add an option. I want you to add everything that you trade right there. So, you know, let's say you trade like four different things, right? Right, and you can change the color here. You know, you can make it, let's say you want green, you know, blue, um, orange, and red, all right? And then you're gonna make this smaller, drag it here. So let's do our date. So today is 12, 7, 24. The pair that I just traded, you can, right? You can add the pair, all right? Now the next thing you wanna do is add position. So you're gonna click the plus, you're going to, so once you click the plus, it'll ask you what, what you wanna make it. You wanna make it another multi-select and you're gonna change it and you're gonna put position. All right, and then you're gonna to go to add option and there's buy and there's sell. All right, so obviously I want sell to be red and I want buy to be green, all right? So once you do that, you are good. And you can also make that small. Let's say I got an A buy. All right. The next thing we want to add is the stop size. All right. So for the stop size, you want to click the plus sign again. You want to click, um, you can click number because it is going to be actually, no, just kidding. Click text. Let's delete this one here. All right, so you're gonna click text and you're gonna put stop loss size. And again, so let's say my stop loss is 50 points for that one, right? And you know, for you guys, sometimes your stop loss may be a different size, so that's why it's better to have it as a text. All right, the next thing I want is the open. All right, so what time did you open your position? So text, I'm gonna do, the date and I want to put open position. Oops, spelled that wrong. There we go. Open position. Date format. That's fine. Time. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. All right. So let's say I opened it at obviously it's February 7th. I want to include the time. So let's say I opened it at 8.30 a.m. Boom. Now I have the time. All right. So obviously I included the date twice, but it's, it's okay. That's just how I had it. 
The next thing I want is the session. All right, so I'm gonna click the plus sign again. I'm gonna do multi-select and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna type in session. So you're gonna add an option. So we have the New York session. We have the London session. And then we have the Asian session. Oops, and there goes me typing fast. Nope. All right, and I'll just leave the colors, it doesn't matter. So now session, I'm gonna click London and then I'm gonna just make this a little bit smaller. It doesn't need to be that big. There we go. So let's say I took it in the New York session. All right, cool. All right, so the next thing I want is my risk to reward. All right, so I wanna know what I was aiming for risk to reward wise. So you can make this multi-select too, because typically like if you only use a few risk to rewards, you can make it multi-select. Um, so I'm gonna add a one-to-one. -one. Oops, that was not a one-to-one. -one. A one-to-one. -one. I'm gonna add a one-to-one. Two, a one to three, risking one, reward four. That's why I do it like that. And then one to five. All right. And then you can make it um in order if it really bothers you by just like dragging it like this. All right. And then we can make that column small. So let's say this trade was a one to three. All right. So then the next one, I want to do the confluences. All right. So you're gonna click plus, you're gonna click, oops, text. And then you're gonna do, so you know what? You can actually do this multiple, multi-selection as well, because typically you should have the same confluences. So for confluences, oops, still leave that one there. All right, for confluences, I'm gonna put order block rejection. All right, I'm gonna put, SSL below, right? BSL below, balanced fill, failing. So, and then you would just kind of put what you use in your strategy. Failing to swim lower, failing to swim higher, break your block rejection right so typically you should have a few things um and you can kind of just add them all right so let's say for this one i had an order block rejection i had price failing to swing lower i had imbalance to fill and i had sell stops below so boom there's all so those are mine right so for you you'd want to put what you use in your strategy there i wish i would have did the multi-selection for mine because i will write it out all right, so the next thing you want is the screenshot of the trade. So I'm gonna label, so I actually wanna make this a file slash media, all right? And that's because you're going to add pictures here. So screenshot, all right? And so you just click it and you go choose file and then you can click a, you can pick a screenshot, right? I don't even know what this is. So we're gonna do a screenshot. So let's just say, boom, that was the trade. And if you have multiple, you can add another one, um, right? So you can add another one if you need to. All right, so boom, there's a screenshot. And then the last one is you want the um, outcome. So it's gonna be a text and you're gonna put outcome. And you know, you can say, you know, today was great, TP one through five hit. I stuck to my plan and managed my emotions well. I gained a hundred points from this trade. Then you could say, I did take partials at 50 points, right? Obviously it's gonna be in a better manner, but I'm just giving you an example um, of you know what you'd write in the outcome. You'd give a detail. 
And then you can put um, another text here and you wanna add the percentage made or made slash lost, right? So, you know, let's say you made 1% made 1% of my account today, all right? Or if you lost, you would say how much you lost of your account for the day, all right? But um, that is how you create a free trading journal on Notion. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please let me know um, and have a great rest of the trading year.